Megan mad as Tom Bowers spill her plot to use the old journal to reveal the royal secrets in Revenge, the latest part. After just one podcast episode release, Meghan Markle had palace aides terrified of what else she might reveal, according to the royal biographer Omid Scobie. But after an in-depth cover interview with the cut, new concerns have been raised over exactly how much the Duchess of Sussex might say and how it could impact the royal family. One particular point on content tension in the journal that she kept during her time as a working royal, which she told the cut she has found when she returned to the UK for the Jubilee. You go back and you open doors, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is what I was writing in my journal then, and here are all my socks from this time, she had said. Commenting on the tablet, in the insider source had told the Sun that Harry and Meghan were told to ignore social media and newspapers, but sometimes staff would say to them, so sorry about what was written the other day, and that she would hit the roof, as she wrote all in her diary as an insurance policy. As they had added, if they ever saw the light of day, it would surely be dynamite. By the sounds of it, the journal was discovered this summer, boxed up and shipped back to Montecento. As another piece in the puzzle is a pretty juicy one. It is interesting, and it has never had assigned anything that restricts it from talking. As the Duchess told the cut, I can talk about my life experience and make a choice not to. When asked why does she doesn't reveal everything she answered, she said she's still healing. Recently, Good Morning Britain guest Tom Bauer has slammed for accusing Meghan Markle of being behind Prince Harry's memoir spam. During a segment, whatever Harry and Meghan should be stripped of their titles on Monday's show. Hosted by presenters Susanna Reid and Ed Balls, and the royal biographer claimed that she dictated this agenda. He'll keep his pricely titles, as is Megan I'm after, after his cast. As his book is really Megan's, Megan is the person who has dictated this agenda. A perplexed balls had reacted. The book is about Harry, it is not even by Megan. Do you think he's read it? Bowed asked, with both presenters reminding the author that the book is from the prince. Megan has actually read every word, he continued. Megan is highly intelligent and very sophisticated. Bauer continued his blistering attack on Meghan by claiming the Queen didn't like her, adding that William saw through her and Charles saw through her too. Diana's brother Charles, who had saw through her, she was adventurous and who came here to make fame and fortune, had gone back to America, is exploiting the royal title. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been accused of causing a major argument with the King Charles and the day of Queen Elizabeth II's passing. As the claim has been made by the royal commentator Cameron Walker in an interview with the Daily Express Royal Roundup, Pandora Forth, as he had started off by admitting that he would go out only as Prince Harry and was going to be travelling up to Balmoral with Prince William and the Earl and the Countess of Wessex and Prince Andrew as well. There was a lot of questions as to why that was from reports. It points out that the fact that now King Charles had thought it was inappropriate, perhaps for the Duchess of Sussex, to be there. By the end, they caused an argument and therefore delayed the planes in taking off. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been wanted about the inevitable implosion of their plans for the royal family. As royal commentator and author Daniel Els had issued the insight in a new piece for the news.com.au. She's began by writing Harry and Meghan, Buckingham Palace Exiles, and the world's most famous titled Malcontents. Fancy a spot of breach healing and bridge building with this family, or at least according to the new reporting. But the wholesale reconciliation about the royal family? Well, the idea of the Sussexes angling to make peace with the House of Windsor had seemed likely as someone being able to pry a glass of red wine out of Camilla, Queen Consort's hand, after 5pm. And now before anyone injures themselves, trying to make sense of the whole Volte face, there is of course a caveat, as the rep approachment has only been slated to kick off after Harry's memoir had hit the shelves, and that their Netflix documentary 
has landed on the streaming giant.